Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at creating nice quality printouts from numbers. So here are some of my tips for creating nice looking printouts from numbers. Now here are my sample data. The first thing I want to show you is I'm using the header column and header row appropriately. I've got in the header row my information to head each column and I've got in the header column here the information. I'm not just starting the, the data here or I'm deleting these and starting a completely blank uh, spreadsheet. I'm actually using these columns appropriately. And that's going to be important for creating nice looking printouts. So the second thing is, is that I want to actually shorten this table so it just has the data, no extra cells. So if I scroll down here I can grab the bottom right hand corner, there's many ways to do this, and drag it up and basically condense it down. So I'm just using this and I've got a nice condensed table with no extra rows or columns. Now the basics from here are to simply go File and then Print and you'll see here I get a preview of what I'm doing and you can see it's pretty small. It fits in the corner of the page here. Uh, and it's hard to tell from this but you know, the lines are pretty light, uh, pretty thin. So I want to go and make this nicer looking. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go down to the bottom here and click here to turn on Print View. And you can see here I've got an edge to the table now on the side. I can actually scroll up and down. I can see the edges of the page here. Um, you can also bring this up by going to View and Hide Print View, Show Print View like that. Now I've got Content Scale on the bottom and since this is only taking up a portion of the space I want to actually scale it up as much as I can. I can also switch orientation here. So I've got this. I can switch to Vertical Orientation instead of Horizontal. And you can see now it actually splits the data up into two pages. One of the interesting things here is that it takes my header column here and it actually shows that on the second page. Not that useful for a small uh, table like this one, but if you have a lot of data and it's spread across many pages, of course, that's extremely useful. So now that I'm going to do this vertically, I can shrink it a little bit here and now it'll all fit on one. If I were to print now, you can see already it's looking better on the page. So the next thing I may want to do is darken the lines here. It always prints lines too lightly for my tastes. So I'm going to, I can select the entire chart, I can select uh, anything I want here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go up to the upper right area here in the toolbar and I can change the information about the lines. So I'm going to make it a thicker line there. Now I'm going to darken the lines here. I'm going to select the table. Instead of selecting one cell I'm going to click here, select the entire table, bring up the inspector, select a table here at the top and then I'm going to change the, the lines. I'm going to make a solid line and I'm going to make it two point. So you can already see the lines are thicker and I'm going to make it a black line like that. And now when I print I can definitely see those lines very clearly. Now if you have a lot of data it's sometimes hard to read on a sheet of paper. So one of the things I like to do is alternate colors for each of the rows. So you can bring up the inspector here. Uh, let's select this table again here and select the entire table. Uh, and then I'm going to go down here you see alternating row color. And right now the alternating row color is white which is the same as the primary row color. So I'm going to change that to something a little darker. and now you can see it alternates there. Now if you want to change a particular uh, color for a row or column like let's make this header row darker here. Uh, you can select it like that and I've got the fill right here. Uh, click on that, make that darker and you can do the same for uh, these. I can just select them individually or select a group of them, uh, make it a, a color here like that. Now you also have some styles here on the toolbar on the left. Uh, so for instance I can switch to one of these and it will change things. And I've made some customization so it's going to combine kind of what I've customized and the, the things here. I can simply clear and apply style and it will change it completely to the style that's here. So I get this nice look here. Maybe I want to add alternating row color to it. And you can see it already has a color for 
the alternate rows for the style. So as soon as I turn that on, I get a very nice looking table there. And I print that out. That's going to look pretty good, especially if I have a color printer. Now also in the inspector, in addition to the table data here, I have the sheet data as well. And there I have a, another way to access the scale uh, and the layout. Um, I also can set page numbers and print margins. And I can set it to use the printer margins, which uh, are just a quarter of an inch for this printer. Or I can set my own here, uh, which could be really useful. And I can also then go to the document settings here and format it for specifically for a printer or for a page size. Now also I have the ability to do headers and footers here. You can see them when I roll over. If I go to view and show layout, uh, then you can see it right there. You can actually see the margins. Uh, you can type something in the footer here and in the header there that will appear on each page. And finally when you do go to print, then Notice you can click the Show Details button here and then you get some more settings. Uh, for instance, you can go switch from Numbers here and it has the option to include formulas on a different sheet here. You can see it right there. You could also go and switch to Layout, Page Handling, and even add a cover page and then specific printer features like you can for a lot of applications. Now another thing to keep in mind is a sheet here is kind of like a canvas. You can do a lot of different things with it besides put tables on it. So I've got this table here. Suppose I want to add a text box. I can just click here and add a text box and maybe put a title up here. It will even uh, center it very nicely. Let me go and move this down. And you can see I've got a text box there. Uh, I'm going to put something there. Maybe make it bold. Um, and then I've got a nice heading for it. And I could put, say, if there was some explanation I wanted to uh, put for um, what this chart's about, I can add some more text down here below and type some, some text here that summarizes kind of what the person's seeing. I can also create shapes. I'll put all sorts of shapes. So, I, for instance, I can put something like this. And this is a text box as well. So I can put some things in there, even some comments here, like a little post it note that I could put something on. Uh, so there's a lot of different things I could add. Uh, add some arrows if I want to point something out like that. So I can point out a interesting sales number in a box. There's a lot of different things I can do. And of course if I have multiple tables on here I can even include charts. So if I wanted to turn this into a chart um, I could create it and of course I have everything scaled up but I can shrink it down and then include that on the sheet as well. And you can see it's all included on the same piece of paper really. Uh, and I can just move these things around and create very nice looking pages to print. So there's my look at some tips for creating some nice printouts using numbers. And remember you can also save as PDF from that print dialog which is useful if you want to email somebody a copy or send it to a place to have it printed or you just want to give it to somebody and they may not have numbers or you may not want to give them a editable copy of the spreadsheet. Hope you found this useful. Until next time this is Gary with MacMos Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.